Hi everybody. I look so rough cut, like I've seen better days and my skin has seen a better days and we certainly both have. But I wanted to get this vlog as rough it is vlog I should say as rough as it is out to you because I've been thinking for a while now to share this quick food that you can make in your own kitchen instead of going out and buying stuff that's full of chemicals questionable ingredients and really bad for your health you can make something that's really good for you but the only warning to this is that please don't go on a date or don't eat it before you're going to work and if you forget and accidentally have it for lunch or wherever then you go somewhere important chew on some parsley or so that's what we say the greek people to one another chew on some parsley and maybe a bit of lemon maybe a bit of mint whatever you've got and yeah good luck but it is garlicky and depending on how strong you like it i am a very pro garlic person before i get into it though i want to apologize to everybody because i know that i can't appeal to everyone at the same time and yeah we're gonna have to look my vlog is gonna have to be very different my vlog is gonna be a mixed bag it's gonna be different things all the time so i do apologize for that i just otherwise i would get bored so hopefully some of you can take things from one episode then some others from another but anyway thank you so much for subscribing to my channel so let's get down to it what i'm going to be making is hummus because it is so good in taste but also so good for you instead of going for those crisps or those horrible things that we all munch on and are really bad for us because of cholesterol and all sorts of other reasons it is and also the msgs and all of that which are really bad for you and also make you eat more and more and more just stay away from all those nasty things so the snack i'm going to be making is hummus and i know there are many variants this is the way that i make it and i swear it tastes so damn good it is hard to stop eating it you can dip carrots in it cucumbers you can put it on pita bread with other vegetables in there like a salad and you can include chips you can do whatever you want and roll it up and eat it i personally like to eat a spoonful by spoonful is my favorite i know i know it sounds very gluttonous and disgusting but believe me it tastes so damn good and it's so nutrient dense because sesame has got calcium protein nice oils that are good for your body and then you've got the legumes which have got fiber iron protein and all sorts of goodies in them honestly there is nothing wrong with it and you've got the lemon juice it is such good things to be introducing into your body feel free to experiment with the taste i just i tend to go by eye but you'll see what i've done here and i swear it turns out so fast so yummy please get down to it you will not regret it oh my gosh i can't stop eating it that's the problem and because we do have virgin olive oil in there plus the sesame seeds are crushed sesame seeds in the form of tahini oh my gosh we've got so many oils in there but these are good fats for your body that your body needs yeah try to adjust them so it's not too full on for me and heavy for your stomach but for me the way that i've made it is just perfect i uh, if it doesn't have oil in it it is a little bit dry for me that's what i tend to think anyway i like it a little bit tart and sharp just this is the great amount of everything in my perspective you can also try with half a lemon if that's too tart for you but i like that way otherwise it's not enough for me i'm a person of mediterranean background and everything has to be very flavorful and believe me a lot of the times we use just simple ingredients maybe even few of them but the there is maximum flavor and then you get a lot of cuisines especially the modern day cuisines where they had a touch of this a touch of that a touch of that and it tastes like water really it's just so mild so uh, let's put it this way if a greek person was to go to one of those master chefs and iron chef things we wouldn't do so well because we like it rich and tasty and we're not stingy on the ingredients we put quite a, a nice glug of olive oil in there so i can imagine real snobby critics putting that thing in the mouth and they will be utterly disgusted with the pungent 
garlic and virgin olive oil and all of those strong smells that you get in there the amount of cumin that i use is not too full on in our cuisine in the greek cuisine we don't use cumin that much so i just don't like it to be overwhelming in my food in hummus yes it needs it but that's my opinion just adjust as you like like i said start on start off maybe with one clove of garlic and then half a lemon for me it is absolutely necessary to have minimum two cloves of garlic and one lemon i can't stress that enough but let's get to it guys there are so many brands to choose from out there and i understand if you're in a rush you want something really quickly to eat and fill up your tummy that you would buy one of those but i have tried quite a few and they tasted gross i mean semi okay but they still had an artificial flavor to them nothing like the beautiful fresh rich ingredients hitting your tongue and your palate as in the hummus that you will make i promise you will never go back once you make your own and it's so easy so fast it takes literally five minutes of your time you can use tin chickpeas doesn't matter what brand look for the ingredients and try to opt for ones that have less chemicals in there not too many chemicals anyway in tinned legumes you can use dried chickpeas but you need to soak them overnight and cook them and until they're tender enough to blend nicely also let me give you a tip when you're selecting ingredients like garlic or what other vegetables pick up a paper bag and pop them in there because because it is biodegradable once you've used it you can discard it in your organic spin whereas the plastic bag is not good for the environment at all give planet earth a break thank you guys and yes that was new kids on the block playing in the background which i enjoyed very much okay guys let's look over what we're gonna need you're gonna need chickpeas lemon juice garlic tahini olive oil cumin and salt i used one lemon two cloves of garlic you can use more if you want start with one and then suss your way out because it might be too much for you use a fine grater or a microplane and also two tablespoons or thereabouts of tahini i don't buy the bulk one i buy a really good quality smaller jar but i can imagine people who use larger volumes especially middle eastern people would require a larger amount so that's justifiable it already has some oil in it because naturally sesame is very rich in oil and you make sesame oil too out of the seed virgin olive oil and here is our cumin and salt like i said not too much cumin just suss it out according to your taste some recipes call for a teaspoon i put less than that otherwise yeah it will be far too intense too much of a cumin smell for me and i have tried hummuses at people's homes that tasted too much too loud cumin and no that was just way much for me also a tin of chickpeas and keep the aquafaba which is the liquid they were in because you can beat it to stiff picks together with icing sugar and it will be just like meringue you can make pavlova out of it by putting it in the oven i've never tried it myself and i'm hanging out to do so so i'm always saving the aquafaba but i haven't tried it yet you can also use the juice that you cook chickpeas in if you use the dried chickpeas no worries any aquafaba any liquid that legumes have been in you can use to replace eggs as well in particular recipes do a bit of a search on the net this is the final product at first i was grinding with a lower speed for quite a while and in the end i just vamped it up really made it go faster and that's the consistency i like it like that it's still got a little bit of grain in it but i like it i like it to have a little bit of a bite or a crunch but it's still quite smooth at the same time so i know you're gonna think i'm crazy for eating it this way but this thing tastes so good i promise to you you can eat it this way too oh my god like seriously you guys i sounded so disgusting chomping that down that i had to turn the volume right down i promise to you nothing in the store can compete to this when you're hungry and you need a snack and you open the fridge this is a good stuff to go for as i mentioned earlier a perfect way to sample this would be in a pita bread which you have fried or 
with a little bit of oil, not too much, in a non-stick pan or a stainless steel pan, it doesn't matter. Then put in some cut up salad and if you want chips as well, you got to have tomatoes, onions cut finely. If you've got a particular mandolin that does that kind of job, you'll be perfect. Also fresh chopped parsley and then just top it with some crumbs as well that you can make yourself but roasting in the oven all you got to do is to blend up some bread whole grain bread would be the best put it in the oven with some herbs of your choice especially something like sage drizzle with olive oil bit of salt bit of pepper stir from time to time until they become golden check on them because they can burn it makes the perfect gyros you can try it also with non-dairy tzatziki absolutely beautiful so thank you guys i know that i look like an absolute nightmare at the moment i've got a lot to envy in appearance but that's okay I'm going to get back to what I was doing because I've got a lot of stuff to do and I really want to edit this and get it up because I'm going to try, like I said, to pay attention to their algorithm. I would like more people to reach my channel so at least they get use out of it and hopefully so that one day I can make a few bucks out of the many hours that I have invested already so far in my channel. I do enjoy it, but honestly, each section that i edit even a 15 minute video can take anything up to four five seven hours depending on how many cuts you're making depending if you've got a limit that you want to keep it to like under 15 minutes or a particular size and then you've got to go back revisit it readjust move everything along the timeline believe me it takes a lot of work so it would be nice if i could make a few dollars for as appreciation not from the people but from traffic and ads and things like that just so i can get paid a little bit back in the time that i have poured into this channel and i've also spent money on it as well i've had to invest in a new phone in a new contract that's costing me a fair bit per month whereas before i was paying a third of what i'm paying now and also just some things like an external microphone with a cushion on it to filter sounds which I used in my, on my previous phone, but not so much on this one because I haven't filmed so much outdoors and I didn't need to speak outdoors. It's a directional mic. I was having issues with my previous phone, so I needed it anyway. But uh, yeah, and also a tripod, a couple of tripods actually so far because the first I bought, it had bits missing. And anyway, we'll get into that another time. So yeah, I've spent a bit of money I also pay for my software per month. So you can imagine I'm putting actually money into this, into making this and a lot of time. But thank you so much for listening to me, for joining me, for supporting me, for your kind words. I'm really overwhelmed the kind of response that I had from my last video, which has gone on uh, over 1,100 hits at the moment. For me, that's a very amazing result because i am of humble background i don't have a huge following i'm not affiliated or associated with people who have a huge following so whatever i'm doing i'm building by myself with small steps at a time and i'm certainly so humbled by the kindness and the level of beautiful beauty in the words uh, by the support by thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys rock thank you See you in the next episode. Guys, if I could ask you for a small favour to thumb up my video because it will really help my channel. It would push it upward. Thank you so much.